The Wash Allen Show. Now, here's your host, Wash Allen. Welcome tonight, the YWCPA, everybody. Little girls growing up into the world. You want to see what it's about? Come on, let's go with me. Come on. I want you to, to tell everybody exactly what's happening here. Oh, this has been a, this is a glorious night. We are a group of women and men, professional women and men, who have organized to become an advisory council for the Young Women's College Preparatory Academy, which is located in Third Ward. We have become committed to that school because it is all about STEM programs. STEM means science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And so we are training young women to be leaders in those fields for our future. This is our inaugural celebration. We will uh, graduate our very first 12th grade class uh, next May. So we are very, very excited about it. You are lovely, you know that, right? Yes. Say yes. Yes. <laughs> I like that. So um, you're part of the YWCPA, right? Yes. What age and all that are you? Tell me something about yourself. Okay, my name is Victoria Cotlett, so I'm a senior. Um, my name is Lauren Sims. I'm 14 years old and I'm a freshman. And when I get older, I like to become an entertainment lawyer. My name is Kelly Aparicio. I am 17 years old. I am a senior as well, and I hope to be a petroleum engineer. Hi, my name is Adariel Hunter. I'm 17. I'm a senior at YWCPA, and I would like to attend Penn State and major in mechanical or petroleum engineering. Um, my name is Derenisha Arsenal. I'm also a senior at YWCPA. I like to attend John Hopkins University and be a biomedical engineer, and I'm 17 as well. What's your name, young lady? I am Vita Brown. What do you do? I am a researcher, child psychology, developmental psychology researcher. This is a perfect place for you, right? Exactly, and that's why I'm here, and I'm making a lot of connections, and I'm meeting a lot of wonderful people. Thank you for being on the War Challenge Show. Well, thank you for inviting me. And what is your name, sir? Alfago Tate. And what do you do? Electrical design. So, so this is a perfect thing. This is what women are trying to do, young women, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I imagine you could serve as an inspiration for that, right? Yes, sir, I do. It's, it's, it's a good inspiration uh, for young women, you know, especially young black women. It's a good thing because you, in, in this field, there aren't that many people of color, especially young, young black women. So it's a good thing. It's a good help for them. Thanks for talking to Okay, thank you. We're talking with a special young lady. Tell her about who you are. I am Dr. Michelle Cloud. I'm a school support officer for the Houston Independent School District. I see. So, you know, being here at the YWPCA probably is a great thing for you because I know you're involved with young people all the time. Absolutely. I'm so excited to see so many people come out and support education for a single gender school of this nature. And also, she has a radio show. Where do you, where's your radio show? I'm on MJWJTalkRadio.com, the feel-good radio station. And we tackle subjects that are very significant to our young people that really equips our parents with skills and strategies to make sure that they support their children through their educational process. And I want to thank you for being on my show tonight. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We have some people who won the, the auction, am I correct? That's correct. And the name? My name is Elnora J. Fluella. Right. And? and I'm Linda Berkeley, Linda Knight Berkeley, and I was the auctioneer for tonight. You sure was. You did a great job, too. 
Thank you so much. I've started doing auctioning with my sorority for our Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Educational Advancement Foundation, and I've been doing it for the last five years for nonprofit organizations. And so I really enjoy coming out tonight. And also, you, you gave a contribution of the radio, the network, the internet radio, and we really appreciate your contribution, and we appreciate Elnora's contribution on the. Galveston Island getaway. Uh, thank you so much, Wash, and we love you. You always have been there for us, and you always make us look good, and we appreciate that. Thank you, man. I appreciate yes, that. All right. Here we have a young lady here by the name of Samina Farid. So what do you do and why are you here at uh, this special event? Okay, well, I started an oil and gas technology company 25 years ago, Merrick Systems. I'm very proud of we're a sponsor over here. I also sit on the advisory committee. I've sat on it since the school started. I'm very proud to be a member of this incredible school that we've got here. Yes, indeed. So uh, this is a great, these kids seem to be very inspired by this. Well, it is it's so great. We're taking kids that young girls that have not had the opportunities elsewhere to be able to come in and focus not just on STEM, which is such a critical part of our curriculum, but also on the arts and to become balanced, uh, uh, confident young women. And I think that is so incredibly important to us. Well, I know with you, it's going to be exciting. Thank you. Oh, it's very exciting. Thank you so much. Thank you. And of course, uh, Miss Judy Foster of Foster International. Did you enjoy it? Watch, well, you know, as honorary chair, this has been one of the most inspiring events that I've been involved in because it's working with education. Dr. John Stanford, you were one of the honorary chairs tonight. What do you think about that? How do you feel about it? I, th I feel wonderful about that because this was a great event. It's a fundraising event to help the young ladies at the Young Women College Preparatory Academy. And uh, that's uh, primarily uh, dealing with uh, the STEM, the science, technology, uh, engineering, and math. And these young ladies have excelled in every area throughout the state. So I'm, I'm, I'm just excited about being part of helping them to get a quality education. Thank you guys for being uh, the chairs of this event. I know this really meant a great deal to a lot of young ladies, okay? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I have the one and only Miss Faye Bryant. And that name, just when you said that name, it radiated throughout Houston. <laughs> Listen, I've been around here a long time. This is, I'm a native Houstonian. Are you really? Right, born in this city. Homegrown. Homegrown, right. Well, for the, for the people that are watching us in different cities and different parts of the country, why don't you, we know about you here, but why don't you give them a little bit synopsis of what you do and what you've been doing? Okay, I worked in the Houston Independent School District for 42 years before I retired. And primarily, I worked with the group that started Magnet Schools and all of the charter schools. So, and I've watched this girls' school grow from the very beginning until now because Polly has been supporting it and I always support things she's involved with. Yeah. And other than that, I uh, have served as Supreme Basilisk of Alpha Kappa Alpha. So if you have any AKAs looking anywhere in the United States, they know that name, Faye Bryant. That's right, they do, I do. <laughs> but uh, I still do a lot of work and with a sorority, doing a lot of traveling. And um, so between still involved with education on the board at Region 4, and so not only with HISD, but with all of the school districts in this area, uh, Region 4 services 42 school districts in this general area. So I'm on their board. So I keep up with education and providing for young people. And she does so much. We could be talking to you all night, the whole program. <laughs> just a little bit. I just want people to get a chance to see you and get a chance to know. Well, thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. We'll be right back with more of The Wash Allen Show. 
Welcome back to the Wash Allen Show. To whom I speak with now? My name is Delisa Thomas, and I am the proud founding principal of Young Women's College Preparatory Academy. Oh, really? You're a principal? Yes, I am. The principal of this wonderful school in which this uh, function has been put together for this evening. You don't look like a principal. <laughs> I was talking about patience a few moments ago. It takes a lot to be a principal. To be, you gotta have, to have a lot of patience for that too, don't you? Yes, you do. Especially when you have a school full of girls, you have to be very patient. They like to talk and they're very inquisitive. And so you have to have all the patience in the world. And I love what I do. You love it, huh? I do. I do. I'm very passionate about um, women who are in STEM careers as science, technology, engineering, and math. And what better way than to grow our own starting with grade 6 uh, and through 12. And this year we will have our inaugural graduating class of 2015. I have with me the one and only Ms. Wanda Kimbro. Doctor? No. <laughs> oh, you just appear and look that way. I do. <laughs> Tell us exactly what's going on in your life right quick. Well, um, I'm, I am a pilot, and that's what everybody's referring to. I'm a pilot. Wait, and now, you, you actually get in an airplane, I and you actually turn it on, and you fly in the air by, by yourself. On the airplane. <laughs> get in the airplane. <laughs> And fly the airplane. Actually, uh, we own a Mooney. Um, it's built in Kerrville, Texas. And um, I fly a Piper Tomahawk. That's a trainer. Mm -hmm. so I get, have you always been interested in that arena? Well, I was a flight attendant for over 15 years with Eastern Airlines out of Miami, Florida, uh -huh. where I'm from. And um, I learned to fly on a dare. A pilot dared me to learn how to fly. Yes. The greatest dare of your life. Yes, the greatest dare of my life. <laughs> well, thank you for talking to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. A very special guest of ours, ours here. A young lady that uh, was singing and doing all the things with Mr. Dynamite, Godfather of Soul, Mr. James Brown. And Vicki Anderson Bird, who's married to Bobby Bird, the late great Bobby Bird, and of course James Brown, who's gone. You know, both the guys that you were with, both are gone now. Yes, they're gone. Bobby passed nine months after James had passed. Well, that's amazing. Yes. And they were top friends, James Brown and Bobby Bird. But you're still here to keep the thing, the spirit going on, right? That's why I'm thinking real hard about coming home. To Houston, Texas. To Houston, Texas. All right, that sounds good. Thank you, Vicki. I appreciate you being here on the show. Thank you. The Wash Allen Show. All right. All right. Vicki Bird, everybody. Vicki Anderson Bird. Thank you, Vicki. I have two lovely ladies here in the name of... Hi, I'm Katie Stewart. And... I'm Allie Pruner. Now, my executive producer, Judy, was telling me that you guys knew exactly what you do. Tell me. We are college mentors for the first class of senior graduates. So we're going to be helping them with their college applications and staying up with the process and the deadlines. And we're excited to help them keep everything organized and see their full potential come to the graduation. It's an exciting time. Seems like a lot of work to me. But anyway, <laughs> give me something else on that. Go ahead. Well, um, Katie and I were discussing earlier, I think our greatest strength is that we have the ability to nag and help help the girls. They're, they're, it, luckily, it's a great group of girls, and they have such fabulous, fabulous potential that helping them get into college and, and seeing them fulfill their dreams is, is, is truly a gift, and we're so happy to be able to volunteer for them. You have a lot of energy for that, though, don't you? Yes, and I think we do. You know, we're pretty type A scheduled, organized, so we'll be in touch with them a lot, you know, keeping their keeping their schedule straight as well as all the other girls, too. And we'll keep an eye on you. About that. yeah, that's good. That's good, because we need that. So, we have this young lady. What is your name? Dr. Melanie Johnson. You sure you're a doctor? I'm sure. You're like a student to me. 
Oh, thank you very much. You are so kind. <laughs> Tell us about tonight, Tim, right quick. Tonight was phenomenal. I actually serve as the treasurer for the Young Women's College Preparatory Academy, and we were very successful in um, raising funds to support the girls who need so much in terms of um, supporting their education. I have Mr. Michael McCall. That is your name, right? Hey, yes, how you doing? How do you feel about tonight, the YWPCA? It's been exciting. It's an opportunity that we've been able to help these young ladies. Of course, I'm in engineering, science and technology, mathematics, you name it. So I'm excited that we be able to be a part of this program. It's been really exciting, Dad. Okay. Yes. <laughs> because that's what they want to do. They really do. Thank you, Michael. All right, thank you. Tell me about who you are. Um, I'm Susan Bynum, and I've worked with you with the Publicity Committee with Will Avenue Baptist Church and the Women's Guild Organization. And I'm here this evening as a guest of Dr. Polly Sparks Turner and Lucy Bremond. They are sorors of mine of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, but I also wear an additional hat because I am Assistant Dean for Institutional Advancement at Texas Southern University's Thurgood Marshall School of Law. We'll be right back with more of The Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to the Wash Allen Show. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I have Dr. Karen Otazo. And we want to thank you for allowing us to barge into your house and use it like this. Hey, this was just wonderful. This event was about creating leadership for young women at a point in their lives that they really need it the most, which is they need the support and the guidance and the uh, wherewithal to be able to pursue their degrees and get their, the education that they need. And this is vital, and it's vital at every age, but, and, and for men and women both, but women especially. And here's a young lady that won something, didn't you? Absolutely. Do you know what you won? Yes, I won radio advertising with Wash Allen, right. the very own. <laughs> On MJWJTalkRadio.com. I have some guests here in the name of... Gary Grant. Suzanne Grant. And the two of you know each other. We do. Yes, we do, sir. Yes, we do. What do you guys do? Well, we do. Uh, Suzanne's got a great restaurant here in Houston, the Lucy Ethiopian Restaurant. I've got my own business here in town, which keeps me busy uh, most of the time. Keeps her buying. Yeah, yes, sir. There you go. <laughs> but tell us the name of your business and where Lucy Ethiopian Restaurant, located in Southwest Freeway. So I can come over there and get something to eat or what? Oh yeah, definitely. Look for me now. All right. All right. And we have... I'm Yvette Adams. I'm with Extraordinary Events and Catering. I have an event planning and catering company here in Houston, Texas. Linwood Adams. I'm a barber by trade. I have Cut and Zone. It's at 2919 West Ridge, Houston, Texas. And of course, I have a, a young lady in the name of Erica Lee Carter. So, what are you doing now after you've grown up? I'm on the Harris County School Board, working uh, for all of our children to have quality educational opportunities. I have a young lady. What is your name? My name is Chantel McWilliams. So, what do you do? My my producer was saying that you're a special kind of woman and you're involved. So, tell me a little bit about the show. I am a college professor at Lone Star College, and I am a community volunteer and philanthropist. Uh, Dr. Karen Otazo. And? Sophia Ivanka. What is your name? Evelyn Arrington. Eli Rodriguez with the Hispanic Window Show at NJWJ Global Radio Network. Right. <laughs> Sally Morin. Who's just come back from all over the world, all right? All over the world, from the Middle East. Vivian Harrison. Linda Knight Berkeley, Julia Robinson Nelson, and Gwen Tate, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Paula Harris, Dorothy Booker, Alpha Kappa Alpha. Joyce Jackett, Alpha Kappa Alpha. Willie Mae Evans, Susan Bynum, Rhonda LeBlanc Williams, Lucy Bremont, Dr. Charlotte Milton, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, Chantel McWilliams, Dr. Polly Turner, retired chair of the YWCPA Advisory Council. 
Hi, I'm Mary Ann Walker. Hi, I'm Faye Bryant. Wanda Beta Tanner Kimbrough. Latricia Williams. Demetra Jones. Elnora Fluellen. Connie Stewart. Joe Carolyn Good. And your name is? Elizabeth Bohorkas. And? Lisa McBride. So what do you guys do? I'm an attorney. And what do you do? And I'm also an attorney with Thompson & Horton. Look like attorneys. Thank well, you. I think. I think. <laughs> so, what do you think about the affair? Uh, we had a wonderful time. Uh, it was a great event for everyone. We were able to raise some good funds for the girls, and and that was, after all, the the goal of the project. And, and at the same time, we had fun. We had some nice music, saxophone player. Right. It was very nice. You remember everything. Do you remember anything? Well, I just remember being so extremely proud of our girls and the fact that we are supporting girls who are entering science and math and technology, and what a amazing things that they're able to accomplish at the school. And we have with us Miss... I'm Lucy Bremon. So what do you say about tonight? I fair? think tonight was fabulous. The girls were wonderful. It's all about raising money to help these girls succeed. And I think we did a wonderful job of doing that. So many people out here, they want to give now, they want to give later and support the school. And that's what it's all about. We want to thank you for... Uh, participating and having all of this, I really do want to thank you. We thank you for being here with us, and you made it even more special. Well, thank you, man. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. We'll be right back with The Wash Allen Show. Welcome back to The Wash Allen Show. It's been great here on The Wash Allen Show tonight, everybody. I have my executive producer here, Judy Foston of Foston International. Judy, what are your thoughts about tonight? Watch, I think we raised a lot of money for YWCPA, and I just want to thank Dr. Polly Turner for inviting me to be a part of this great, great inaugural event for YWCPA. And I've had a great time. See you next week, same time, same station. Bye-bye. The Wash Allen Show has been brought to you by Frenchie's Chicken, Bayway Lincoln Volvo, and MJWJ Global Radio Network.